Hey everybody, it is so great to be here. It's so great to uh, see everybody and um, I've missed you. I've missed you a lot. Um, everybody needs a little good news right now, right? So I wanna share with you a, a brief interview that I did with a very special young lady. Everyone, this is Georgia Clark. Georgia is the children's ministry artist in residence. She has made quite a powerful statement with her art about unity, about unity and community. So tell us, Georgia, what was on your heart when you were drawing this piece of art? What were you thinking? How did you do it? I was thinking like the three shaded, different shades of hands that all lives matter that we are all one together mm -hmm. that's exactly what jesus teaches us isn't it he says for us to love one another as he's loved us but we're also to love our neighbor despite our differences and that's great georgia you know several of us have your sign in our yards it's awesome well thank you no oh, you're welcome so if we all worked as one so if we all work together and accepted us as who we are, we will be better people. That's a profound truth, Georgia. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So now let's talk about what children's ministry is going to look like this fall. It's going to be a little different, but I think it's going to be great. I really do. I have um, looked into purchasing some new curriculum for us to kind of jazz up this season of feeling a little displaced and disoriented. So this new curriculum is fun and it has a lot for our kids to do. And it teaches them about how much Jesus loves them, no matter what's happening around them. And it helps them to dig in a little deeper about finding out who God is. So on Sundays, I will post a video on our Facebook page, the Children's Ministry Facebook page, and I hope that you will join me there. That is how we are going to be running the ministry um, this fall is on Facebook. Um, and as I was saying, on Sunday, I'm going to post a video that will be of me or um, another volunteer who will be teaching what the curriculum has that week as a Bible passage. The very first week that we will have it out, we will be teaching on Moses and the burning bush. So the teaching will be probably about five minutes um, or less. And um, after that teaching will be maybe a question or a family activity that can be done. Now, also I will post a music video the kids have loved these music videos in the past, especially the, uh, the hand motions and the dancing. Um, they will be in these videos as well, and there will be a new one every week. <laughs> I will post those on Sunday so they can listen to them all week and learn the hand motions. Then throughout the week, I will post um, maybe a, a low um, energy activity for the kids to do that has to do with the teaching. Uh, and also I will have a, a craft they can do if they want to. Um, there'll be words of encouragement, um, some blessings, some dinner blessings that can be set. Um, just things to um, bring your family closer, to be together, to pray together, and to learn about God's great love together at home in uh, this small season of time. Also through the week, there will be a, um, a small video. The video, I say small videos. These videos um, are no longer than five minutes. So the, inner, the uh, videos are um, actually spoken and taught by kids and they take place like in different parts of the world, like Thailand, Australia, and of course they bring in the animals where you see the native species. And it, like I said, I was entertained, but um, there will be a video that's posted that has this uh, through the week and they call it a talk about video. And um, it's used to spur discussion among the family and to educate the kids a little bit. So there'll be something like that posted. And, um, you guys will continue to get a mailing from Children's Ministry every week. It will have a, a, a letter in it, and then it will be kind of in a newsletter style that recaps what's been taught um, and the Bible verse 
for uh, that week and any news or announcements that need to be made. I also want to make sure um, you guys know that I'm not going to be inundating your um, inboxes with email. I know that you have so much going on right now. Your inboxes are full with kids curriculum and notes from teachers and activities. And um, I don't want to add to your plate. So that is why um, I think that running it off of um, a Facebook page may be best for this season. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys on Facebook. I'm looking forward to see what kind of um, fruit comes from this season because I know it's going to be great. So um, stay encouraged. God loves you and I will see you soon.